those who are going to Geneva, but at the same time implementing the most criminal act against people of Aleppo and Madaya, they are responsible for this, not Syrian people only. Therefore, I urge you, all of my colleagues, not as Prime Minister of Turkey, hosting 2.5 million people, this is our response. We will do it. Whatever happens, we will continue our open-door policy, and whoever comes to Turkey we will not ask, who are you? Are you Kurd? Are you Arab? Are you Turk? Are you Sunni? Are you Shiite? Are you Nusari or Christian? Everybody is welcome, because we have much bigger heart than our budget. And we will share everything. And every week I am visiting hospitals. I will continue to do so because they are members of our family. But our main question is, when will these war crimes be ending? By Daesh, by Assad. No difference. Therefore, it is a very timely meeting, parallel to Geneva talks. And I am grateful for all of our co-hosts for this very timely uh, initiative. And Turkey will be always at your disposal as uh, the initiators, uh, Prime Minister Cameron, all of our colleagues. Whatever you decide, Turkey will be on board. And I want to end with an invitation with the initiative, great initiative of Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Uh, we will be hosting the first ever World Humanitarian Summit in Turkey in May to, uh, 23rd and 24th of May. And there we will be, we, that will be a very good opportunity to talk more on humanitarian issues, not only Syria, but all other humanitarian issues. All of you most welcome to Istanbul to discuss all these uh, problems. Again, I say this is not only support for Syria and the region, but this is a conference supporting human conscience. Thank you very much for this initiative. Thank you. And thank you very much, Prime Minister Davatolu, for that, uh, the generosity of your country, but also for the power of your speech and for being so clear and rightly clear about who bears responsibility for this crisis. Let me take the opportunity to thank all of the leaders who have spoken so far and for all of the commitments that they have made. As Angela Merkel has said, today should be a day of hope with so much that is uh, so difficult in the Syrian crisis, that is so intractable in the Syrian crisis. Today is about funding for refugees, helping those people, helping their families, educating their children, giving them the dignity of work. That is what today is about. And Your Majesty's uh, Highnesses, uh, Distinguished Heads of State and Government, Honourable Ministers, Ladies and Gentlemen, uh, thank you for uh, being here. Thank you for your leadership and engagement. And this is the fourth time we are convening uh, and we are getting together to show our solidarity with the people of Syria and the region. I thank His Highness uh, Emir of Kuwait and people and government of Kuwait. علي رئيس وزراء المملكة المتحدة الصغيرة سيد ديفيد كاميرون استشارة الألمانية الاتحادية الصغيرة سيدة أنجيلا ماركل رئيسة وزراء المملكة الصغيرة سيدة إيرنا سايدر خالد الآلي معالي الأمين العالم المتحدة السيد مالك النور خمس هذا السيدات والسادات أشرني بداية سنوات غير خالص الشكر والتغليل إلى معالي الصديق إلى معالي الصديق سيدة جيئتها هجن غازي كريتيا بان سيدة جيئتها هاي إميا الصبا sehr geehrte Majestät, Majestät König Abdullah, sehr geehrter Herr Ministerpräsident Ahmed Davitolu, sehr geehrter Herr Ministerpräsident Salam, lieber Anna Solberg, lieber David Cameron, Exzellenzen, meine Damen und Herren. Ich möchte mich auch bedanken für die Gastfreundschaft hier in London bei David Cameron und der britischen Regierung. Meine Damen und Herren, der Film, den wir zu Beginn gesehen haben, hat uns ja noch einmal eindringlich auf die Tragödie, die sich in Syrien abspielt, hingewiesen. Und wenn er mit den Worten endet, we must act now, dann ist das nichts weiter als eine dringende Aufforderung, der wir mit dem heutigen Tag auch gerecht werden wollen. 
also like to give David the thanks for organizing and hosting this. It, it is an extremely important event. But finding a political solution to the conflict in Syria is more urgent than ever. The longer it takes, the harder it will be to rebuild what has been destroyed. The longer it takes, the more challenging it will be for the neighboring countries, shouldering the burden of hosting large numbers of refugees. And the longer it takes, the longer the civilian population in Syria will continue to suffer. Although we meet today under the banner of supporting Syria and the region conference, I believe that this gathering is about so much more than quantifying our work. Indeed, at this critical moment in history, when we are confronted with what is arguably the worst, most tragic humanitarian crisis of our time, this gathering is a crucial test of our resolve, resilience, resourcefulness, and ability to act. The tragedy striking the people of Syria who sought refuge away from the carnage in their country has dramatically afflicted other people in other countries. Poverty, misery, disease have swelled and indiscriminately plagued the Lebanese and the one million and a half Syrians that now constitute almost a third of the local population grafted as they are 